Hello, Yarnabees. How are you today? Today, we have a special treat. <laughs> I am going to do a pickle tutorial. Uh, I asked you guys if you wanted one and you said yes. So I'm going to do it. Um, now, this pickle was made with velvet yarn. So it's the smallest pickle that I make. And the, I, I don't have... Um, a skein of this that has a ball band to show you. So we're going to do this in a different yarn. I do. I actually do these in three different types of yarn um, for small, medium, large. So we're going to do the medium size today. Okay. So yeah. So let's get to it. Okay. So what you're going to need is you're going to need either velvet yarn or chenille yarn. Okay, you could do this in a regular four weight yarn too. It just wouldn't look the same. Uh, so I'm using Chenille Home Slim. And the color is Kombu Green. Kom Kombu? Kombu Green? Yeah. Now it says you need an eight millimeter hook. You do not. Not for this project. Okay. Uh, I am going to be using a five millimeter hook. You can use a six miller, millimeter as well. Um, for the velvet yarn, I usually use a four millimeter. So <clears throat> uh, it's just all going to depend on your tension and if you're going to have holes in your yarn, right? You don't want any holes in, in the product because otherwise you're going to see your stuffing. All right, so you want it to be fairly tight, but not <clears throat> too tight. Okay, now you're also going to need some safety eyes. And now this is optional, but I'm using a lighter to melt the backs of the safety eyes so that they won't come out. But we'll get to that in a minute. Um, oh, you're also going to need some scrap white yarn for his little smile right here which I did not bring in. So I'm going to have to go get that. <laughs> okay, so you're also going to need a stitch marker and a darning needle that has a large hole, like a large hole in it, so that you can get your yarn in. Because as you can see, this is going to be pretty thick to get in there. Okay, and here's my scrap yarn. All right, let's get started. Okay, I hope this is close enough um, for you to see. Maybe not too close, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've done a tutorial. <laughs> okay, now I'm not going to do a magic circle because a lot of people don't know how to do them. They get frustrated with them. I'm going to make this really easy, okay? Um, I'm going to do a slip knot. Now you're going to chain up three. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go into that first stitch right here. Okay. And you're going to do oops, a single crochet. Okay, now hold on to the bottom of that stitch, okay, so that you know where it is. Because it can be kind of hard to find if um, you're not used to working with this yarn. So hold on to the bottom here and don't lose it. All right, now you're going to do, all together, <clears throat> excuse me, all together you're going to do eight single crochets in that, um, in that hole. Okay, so that was one. Two, three, four, five, six, and that's going to get a little tight in there. 
seven, eight. Okay, now you're going to use your stitch marker. You're not going, oops, you're not going to um, slip stitch into this next stitch, okay? You're going to be working in it, but you're not going to slip stitch in it, okay? So now you're going to go over to that, for that starting single crochet, and you're going to go in and do a single crochet. Now you're going to put your stitch marker in there, okay? Just so you don't... Oh. Don't lose your space because this stuff is really hard to see your stitches okay now you're going to do another single crochet in the same stitch okay now you're going to go all the way around i i go by feel when i'm working with this because you can see this is like you can't see your stitches very well all right so i go by feel all right so that's where we worked you go over you're going to do an increase, two single crochets in every stitch around. So that's one, two. Go to your next stitch. You can feel it right there. Go in, go one, two. Go into the next one. The next one. One. Two. And then the next one. One. Two. And then there's one more here. One, two, okay. <clears throat> so it should be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. You need uh, fourteen. You need sixteen. So you're gonna. Oh, did I do? See, this is where you have a problem. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to count. <laughs> okay. So you should have 16 stitches all, around, all the way around. Okay. This, this first part is the hardest part. The first part and the last part of the pickle is the hardest. The rest, the, in, the middle is really easy. Okay. Uh, and it's only because you have a hard time seeing your stitches. All right. So you're going to take out your stitch marker. You're going to go into the next stitch and you're going to do one double crochet or one double one single crochet you're going to put your stitch marker back in okay now you're going to do um two singles into the next you're going to do an increase you're going to go two into the next stitch and then you're going to do one into the next stitch, two into the next stitch. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around. So that's two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's 24 stitches all together. So it's one increase, one 
increase, one increase, all the way around. Okay? And remove your stitch marker. Do a single crochet in that stitch. Next stitch. <coughs> Put your stitch marker back in. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> knocking things over. Okay, now what you're going to do is five single crochets and an increase. Five single crochets and an increase, okay? So that's your first single crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now an increase, you just do two in one stitch. One, two, okay? Next stitch, one single crochet. Next stitch, two. Next stitch, three. Next stitch, four. Next stitch, whoops, five. Okay, next stitch is an increase. So you do two and one. Okay, next five. One, two, three, four, five. Next stitch increase. Two and one. Two. Okay. <clears throat> and now it's five singles. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Take your stitch marker out and do an increase in that stitch. Put your stitch marker back in. Okay, this is what it should be looking like. Okay, now we're going to do six in uh, six single crochets and an increase. Six six single crochets and an increase. Okay. So one. Two, three, four, five, six. Now do an increase. Two, two and one. And then six more. Two. Three, four, five, six, and then in the next you do your increase. Okay, six more. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Next is an increase. Okay, and then you oh. one, six more. One. Two, three, four, five, and then into that stitch marker, six. Okay, now I'll pull you up a little bit.
All right. This is, this is what you should have. Okay. Now that's the end of the increases. All right. And put your stitch marker back in. Now you're going to do two rows of single crochets. Just easy peasy single crochets all the way around. You can do that for two rows. Okay, now I'm not going to have you sit here and watch me do this. So you do your six single, uh, six rows of single crochet and meet me back here when you're done. Okay, so now once you've done your two rows of single crochet, this is what you should be having. Okay, now we're going to do the bobble stitch row. Now I do mine a little bit differently. So in this very next stitch, here I'll bring you in a little bit just so you can see what I'm doing here. Hopefully that's not too close. Hang on, let me bring up just a smidge. Okay, so what I do is you go into the next stitch, you yarn over, oh, you yarn over, you go into the next stitch, pull up your yarn, Okay, you've got three on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two of those. Okay. Yarn over, go in that same stitch. Yarn over, pull up. You're going to have four loops. Yarn over, you're going to pull through two. Okay. You're going to do that again. Yarn over, go through, oops, go into the same stitch. Now it's going to get a bit tight. Pull up. Yarn over, pull through two. Oops, did I pull through two? Hang on. Let me try that again. This is where it gets a little niggly, okay? Pull through two. Okay, whoops, now you're going to have four on your hook. Okay, you're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, go into the next, at uh, the same stitch. Pull up, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now you're going to have five um, stitches on your hook. You're going to yarn over, you're going to pull through all those stitches. Okay, go into your next stitch and do a slip stitch. Pull up and pull through that loop. Okay, and that's going to pop that out. You see that? Okay. All right. Now we're going to do this. This um, slip stitch is going to count as a stitch. All right. And then you're going to do four more single crochet in the next stitches. Okay. So you go into the next stitch. You're going to do a single crochet. Next stitch, single crochet. That's three. Next stitch, four. Next stitch, Five. All right. Now you're going to do another one of these sti bobble stitches. Okay. Yarn over, go into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. Okay. Yarn over, go into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, Pull up, yarn over, pull through two. One more, yarn over, go in, pull up, and pull through two. You've got five stitches on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five. Now there's a trick when, you, when you're pulling through all five. Try to turn your hook down a little bit so that it's the the um, the hook will grab pull through a little bit easier, right? Because if you're doing it if if you're doing it really really tight, this is where this is going to be a problem. Okay, so try not to do these these bobbles too tight because you won't get your hook through. All right, so in the next stitch, go in, 
and slip stitch. Okay, and then pop that up. Okay, there we go. Okay, next stitch, single, next stitch, single, next stitch, single, next stitch, single. Okay, here we go again. Yarn over, go into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into that same stitch, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. And then you keep doing that until you've got five stitches on your hook. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over and pull through all of them. Next stitch, slip stitch. Now, with the slip stitch, you're going to want to do it kind of tight just so that it pops that up. Okay. Next stitch, single. Next stitch, single. 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 Okay. Now you're going to do another bobble. Okay, so yarn over, go in, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. So four and five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Pull through all of them. Next is a slip stitch. Okay. I'm going to keep doing that all the way around. Okay. Now we're going to do one more bobble. Even I'm having problems with this. This big, bigger yarn is harder to work with. The velvet yarn is a bit easier, but then it's also more slippery. There. Okay. Now you're going to do the last stitches. One, two, three, four. And then the last stitch where your stitch marker is should be five. Okay, and put your stitch marker back in. Okay, now we're going to do two rows of single crochet. Okay, now with these bobble stitches, there should be two stitches in the in the bobble stitch. Okay, so you're going to have one stitch here. And then one stitch here. So on either side, where's my so on either side of this bobble, there's going to be two stitches. Oh, am I even in the frame? Yeah. Okay, so there's the one, and then there's the two. Okay. Don't go in on any of these here. Okay. If you look right here, yep, get my hook out of the way. Oh, where am I? There we go. There's one. And there's two. Okay. If you're having a problem finding these, go ahead and grab a couple stitch markers. Oops. There you go. Grab a couple stitch markers and put them in there. Okay. And if you want to put them in each bobble so that you know exactly where these stitches are. Okay? But after a while you'll get to know where they are. Alright?
Okay, so <clears throat> when you um, when you're going around, don't forget these two stitches. So that's one. Oops. And two. Okay. And then you're just going to single crochet around the next, like all of the, all of these stitches. Okay, the next bobble, there's one, and right on the other side, there's two. Okay, one, two, three, four. the bobble. One, two. <laughs> there. Okay. So you're going to do that all the way around until you get to your stitch marker. And then you're going to do another row of single crochet. There's always going to be two rows of single crochet in between the bobble stitches, like or in between the bobble rows. Okay, so I will meet you back when I'm at the end. Okay, I'm at the end of my two rounds of single crochet. At this point, this is where you're going to start doing your face. All right, I'm going to bring you out just a little bit. All right. Okay, let's talk safety eyes. Now, the safety eyes I brought are going to be too small for these, so I have a few different pairs. Okay, see, these are what the size that I brought. They're way too small. <clears throat> okay, now, um, now it's up to you what size you'd like to use. Um, I like my bigger pickles to have like big eyes. All right, so these are the eyes. <clears throat> these are the eyes that I like to use. I get these on, uh, where do I get these? I get them on Timu. Um, you can get them on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. Uh, these are thick eye. Yeah, these are a really thick eye, but if you see, they have, if I can get it off, they have this piece here. Now this is a shiny vinyl, and then it's got uh, felt on the back. So with these eyes, like if you get these eyes plain, plain you can put any backs on them that you want. Okay, um, I am going to be starting to make my own. I bought a Cricut machine. I'm waiting for it to come. And I'm going to start designing my own eyes. So, um, and in the future, I, I'm going to be selling them on my Etsy page, which is always linked down below. Okay, but for now... Like you can use something like these or you can buy the bigger ones. I believe these are 18 or 20 millimeters. I think they're 20. Um, I'm just looking to see. Uh, these are... <laughs> doesn't say... These are snake eyes, but just to give you an idea about the size. Okay. Okay, these I believe are, I don't think these are 18. I think they're smaller, but anyway. Okay. Just to give you an, an idea. Oops. Hang on. 
just to give you an idea of the different sizes. Okay, and then this one is, where's the hole? <laughs> Okay, just to give you an idea of what they look like all together. Okay, for the smaller pickles, for these ones, you can use these this size or this size. Um, it, that's fine. But I, I like an overly large um, eye. So, okay. All right. Now, with these eyes, the, the backs are different. These come with a cup like this. Most safety eyes, they'll come with just a little piece like this that you snap on the back. These ones, these are called sinker eyes. All right. Now, with these, okay, let me get this stuff out of the way. Um, with these ones, they will push in and they will be flush, right? So they won't be sticking out like this, right? They are a little more difficult to put in, but um, I think that they, they really make the stuffed animal look really good. So, okay, now you can move the, move the color of this around to see which way, where you'd like it. Okay. Now for these, you put them on the back, okay? You can push it once, and then you can just kind of look and see if you like the placement. If you don't, it's easy to pop this off again, but don't put, put don't pop it in any more than just the once, because then it's on good, it's on per permanently. All right, with these eyes, they are, there's a, a little bit of a trick to them. You can't just push them in with your fingers, okay? These, uh, I get these on Amazon. There's different types of, um, what do they call eye tools, safety eye tools. Okay, for these kind of eyes, I prefer this. And then you can see mine's a little bit beat up. Um, what I do is I put my eye face down, like get a, um, tea towel, like a fluffy tea towel or um, something like a fluffy face cloth and fold it a few times. Okay. Because you want to protect this eye. You don't, excuse me, you don't want it to get um, damaged. All right. Uh, and then you put it face down. You put this on top of the eye like that and then you use a hammer and you hit it a couple times and it will sink right into the eye and it will lock it in okay so I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back oh before I do that I want to talk to you about placement all right now you see if I had to put my my eyes here my pickle would look like it had a nose <laughs> All right, so I like to try and put it so that it's offset, so that these aren't gonna aren't gonna be a part of the face. Okay, so now you can go like two rows up from the bobble, Oop. and put your eye in. Okay, and then you can go. Maybe three, three um, stitches over. See, that's too close. So try four. Just play around with this. Okay. Now, see, this bobble's kind of in the way. So, because when you put your mouth, it's going to be about here. So... Just kind of play around a little bit. Try and put it up one. See if that works. So that it's three rows up from three rows up from the um, bobble. 
And you got to remember this is going to be stuffed. <laughs> so you kind of just play with it a bit. Okay. So that should be good. Okay. Because then your, uh, your mouth is going to go right here. All right. Oh. Yep. And it's gone. So then you pop this in once. There. And then you kind of get a better idea. Okay. Yeah, it's about good. All right. Okay, now I'm going to go and hammer this in. And I'll, you don't have to hammer them in with, like, these kind of eyes. Those ones you can just pop with your fingers. But these ones take more force so that they sink in. So, okay. So I'm going to go and do that. I'll be back. Okay. So my eyes are in. You can see they're popped in now. Okay, see how they sink in like that? All right, now, this is optional, but I suggest it because you don't want these coming out. All right, you flip it inside out. Now, air caution when you're doing this, okay? This will catch fire and the yarn will melt if you don't do this properly. You have to be very careful when doing this and do not have your head over top of your project because you'll be you'll inhale the plastic when it's melting you don't want to do that okay so make sure that you're in a well ventilated area uh, if you have to go and do this outside I suggest you do that okay I have a fan right here so I can turn the fan on <coughs> so we're gonna do that going to be a little bit loud all right okay now you're going to melt this Hang on. I'm going to turn this down a little bit okay now you're going to melt this a little bit and then you're going to press it down to flatten it out all right I do this because I want to make sure that this eye is not going to come out. All right. So you're just going to wave it back and forth. You don't keep it held on there because it will start to flame. <laughs> All right. Now with the smaller eyes, it doesn't take very much to do this. With these eyes, because they're thicker, and you just push it down like that. Um, because it's thicker, it takes a little bit more. Okay, you see how it's flattened out like that? Okay. Okay, now. So that's flattened out. That's what you want. Yeah, the thinner, the smaller ones melt a lot quicker and a lot easier. These ones take a little bit. See? Then you have to blow on it to stop it from flaming. Okay. So, there you go. Now, like I said, you don't have to do this. but I do it just for extra secure, security for the eyes. All right, now please use caution when doing this. All right, okay, let me flip it over. I can turn my fan off now. And there you go. All right, now we can put the mouth on Where did my needle go? Okay. All right. So I'm going to put my yarn in my needle. Okay. 
I'll bring you in a little bit. Okay, so now what I do is I kind of figure out where I want my mouth. Okay, so I figure about there, I guess. That might be too wide, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we're going to kind of make sure that it's like level with the eye a bit. Okay, you're going to pull your yarn through. Okay. Now you're going to go back into this side and you're going to figure out where the middle of this line is. So it's about right here. So you can bring your needle in back through here and up into that stitch. Make sure that this yarn is down here. All right. And pull this through and pull it so that the mouth is like that. And then you're going to go back into that stitch and you're going to bring it out where this corner is here. Okay. Now you don't have to pull it tight. All right. I'll show you that again. Figure out where you want your mouth. I'm going to go through here. Pull your yarn through. Bring it back around. Pull your yarn. Put your yarn down here. Pull it through your first stitch here. Pull it up in the middle of these stitches, like down one. But um, in the middle of these two, but down one row. Okay, pull your yarn. Go back through the stitch that you just came up. Turn your work. And then go up through that first stitch. Okay, there we go. Excuse me. Okay, now you're going to knot your yarn. Don't pull it too tight, but just tight enough. Do a double knot there. And you're going to cut your yarn, and then you're going to take your darning needle, and you're going to push that knot back through. There. You're going to pull it up the back, and then you can just leave that in there. And there's your little mouth. There. See? Ta-da! Okay, now we can get on to doing the rest of the pickle. We're going to take the stitch marker out, put it on whoops, the other side of this stitch. Now we're going to do a bo bobble. Okay, now placement. I try to place each row of bobbles in between the last row. Okay, so you see we're already in the middle of the row of this bobble. Okay, so I'm just going to do the five stitches. Now you don't have to count your stitches at this point. You just go over. Oh, I'm not even in frame. You're just going to go over until you get to the middle of these two bobbles. Okay, so that's about the middle. So that's where you're going to put your bobble. Yarn over, go in, pull up, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go in the same stitch, pull up, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through, pull up, go through two. Yarn over, go in, pull up, go through two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five stitches. You're going to pull through all five and then slip stitch in the next stitch. OK, 
okay so see where it's I can't really see where I'm going see how it's placed all right so yeah you don't you don't really need to count these you just go until um, until you get to the middle Okay, so we're at the middle. Now we're going to do our bobble. Whoops, I probably went one too far. slip stitch all right okay so there we go so that's what your your stitches are going to start to look like all right so now you're going to keep going and doing those three rows okay you're going to do this bobble stitch row and then you're going to do your two single crochet rows and then a bobble stitch row, two single crochet rows. And you're going to keep doing that until you have five rows of bobble stitches. All right. Uh, where am I here? I mean, you can make your pickle as big as you want. <clears throat> but I find that five rows of the bobbles works the best for me. And it doesn't matter which yarn you use. I use the same formula for each for each um, <clears throat> type of yarn I'm using. If you look at this one, it's the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then after that, uh, after that last row of bobbles, you're going to do two rows of single crochet. And then we're going to do our decreases. So I'll see you back when you're finished all of that. Okay, so I've got all five of my rows of um, bobbles. So now it's time to stuff the pickle and start the decreases. So I've got my fiber fill here. What I like to do is pull the fiber fill apart a little bit just to break it up and stuff it in here. And I pack these pretty good. So, um, so I try to, I try to get it like pull it to the edges like like pull it you know what I mean so that there's kind of a well in the middle so I pull the sides and then I take some and I stuff it in the middle of that well and then I take more And I put it in and I do the same thing. I pull it to the sides like that. So there's a little well in there. And I put some more in there. And I just keep on doing that until it's pretty packed. until it's almost to the top. Now these take quite a bit of fiber fill, as do most plushies. Okay. Nope. 
And then when you get it close to the top, we can start doing our decreases and then stuff as we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the reverse of what we did up here. Okay. So we're going to do six single crochet. Three, four, five, six, and then we're going to do a decrease. Now I'll bring in a little bit here. I have a glare on my phone now, so now I can't see. <laughs> okay, so what I do is I go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, then I go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. So you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And that's your first decrease. Okay. Then you're going to do six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to do another decrease. Go in, pull up a loop, go to your next stitch, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, and you're going to do this all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a decrease. Pull up. I think somewhere along the line from here down, I missed a stitch somewhere because my stitches don't add up very well right now, but that's okay because <clears throat> we are starting our decrease row. Oh. Okay, let's put your stitch marker in there. Okay, now we're going to do five. One, two, three, four, five, and then a decrease. Go in, pull up, go in, pull up, and go through. All right? One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease, pull up, pull up, okay, one, two, three, four, whoops, five, and then yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull up, there. Okay, now you can put in some more stuffing. Wherever my stuffing went. Okay, and then just keep. Oops. And then just keep putting in more as you go. going to do one and a decrease. Okay. Let's 
Let's go to the next one, do a single crochet, and then do a decrease. Go in one, pull up, go in the next one, pull up, and pull through. And then go one, single crochet, and then a decrease. Single crochet and a decrease. Then keep doing that all the way around. stitch marker and decrease. Okay, now you can stuff a little bit more in there. Just do decreases all the way around and then we can close it up. So you go in and in and decrease. Now this is going to get a little tight in here. Another decrease. Okay, now it's getting tighter. And then one more decrease. If you want to, you can put a little more stuff in there. You don't have to, but let's put it a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, cut off your yarn. You leave a long tail. Okay. Then you pull your yarn through. Be very careful because this stuff, it sheds. If you haven't noticed by now, it sheds. If you pull on this too tight, it will break. So don't do that. <laughs> okay. Now what I like to do is I like to take my lighter and just lightly go back and forth just so it melts it a little bit so that it's easier to deal with. So you thread your needle and you go in and out between the stitches. Oh, hang on. So you go in and out and you pull it. Don't pull it very tight. Like just be mindful because this stuff breaks really easily. The velvet yarn breaks even easier. So you have to be very gen gentle with this. Okay, and then just keep, keep pulling it closed. Okay, now you take your needle in, you pull it a little bit when there's a loop, you put your needle back through 
and you pull it a little bit and that will make a nice little knot and then you can go through again so that it's nice you can go through the middle if you want to okay you can make another knot okay right and then just take your needle take your needle down through and you pull it up anywhere wherever the holes are okay just to pull your um, stitches in a little bit okay and then just put it back through don't pull this very hard because otherwise it'll crush this area here and then you can cut this off if you if you pull this a little bit um, it'll go back in to the oops it'll it'll sink back into the amigurumi or the plushie if you see a um some threads or something you can just pop those in there okay i like to roll mine just to have the, the stuffing in it kind of move around and then you can shape it okay See, and this is all the little fluffies that you get when you cut your yarn. So, and then your pickle is finished. Now, I usually have um, a little tag that I put on my pickles that say that they're emotional support pickles. Um, I don't have one with me right now because they're at work, but I will be putting them on here. I will leave a, actually, if you want the ones that I have, because um, I designed mine, um, email me and I'll send you a file that you can download the ones that I've done. Uh, otherwise, you can make your own. Uh, I've, I think I will probably be selling them on my Etsy page at some point. But yeah, so there you go. Your pickles are done. Ta-da. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this. I, I think it was a lot of fun. I, I do enjoy making them. Um, and they do, like I say, they do sell really well. So if you're interested in selling them, um, I would definitely put the emotional support to pickle tag on them because it makes the makes it sell a lot better. So, yeah. So if you have any questions, let me know. My email uh, is always down below and I will talk to you later. Thanks for joining me. Um, bye. bye.